Good day, this is Kate Orland Morba from Pharmacy Department. How may I help you? Good day, Mr. Orland. I am Nicole Martinez, the Trudy Nurse from the ward. I would like to consult you regarding certain patient's medication. Sure, ma'am, but first, please brief me about the patient's condition so that I can assess it. So the patient's name is Maria Alexandra Panintian. She is 10 years old. She is diagnosed with strep growth and the fever leads to painful and inflamed joints. The medications that the patient is taking are penicillin. Actually, I already emailed the patient's prescription right before we start for you to check it. Yes, ma'am, I have already received it. Thank you so much. In fact, reading the actual prescription would be very helpful. Anyway, can I begin by explaining the medication that was prescribed by the physician? Yes, sure, go ahead, sir. Okay, so the patient's medication, penicillin, was what the doctor explained to her that this is a type of medication that used to treat certain infections caused by bacteria such as respiratory tract infections, fever, mouth, and throat infections. Penicillin belongs to a class of antibacterial drugs called beta-lactam antibiotics. But take note also that this may cause side effects such as upset stomach, diarrhea, vomiting, and headache. So I just want to know if the patient is experiencing any of these things I just mentioned. No, she hasn't. Okay, so since there were no problems with regards to taking the medicine, I would just have to give you a few advice for the patient to properly take it. First is to please avoid great food, foods rich in calcium and alcohol. Those contains compounds which interfere with how the liver and intestines break down the medicines and filter out toxins. It may increase the risk of serious side effects. Second is to give patient penicillin on an empty stomach, if possible, one hour before or two hours after meals. Thus, if penicillin upset patient's stomach, you may give this medicine with food. Lastly, make sure to shake well before each use and the dose should be measured with special spoon or oral syringe that I will give you. And also, I suggest strictly follow the physician's advice. Based on what the doctor stated here, the medicine should be taken 350 milligrams for two times a day. Take the full course of this antibiotic. Even if the patient is feeling better after a couple of days, the patient must finish the antibiotic so that the infection doesn't come back, get worse, or spread to another part of the body. So do you have any more questions or clarification with regards to the medication, ma'am? None so far, sir. I'll make sure to contact you if I have one in mind. Thank you so much for your time and assistance. Goodbye and thank you once again.